<sighs> What's going on, you guys? Man with the cam here. And to. Get down! Hey! Hey! Ugh. Anyway. What's going on, you guys? Man with a cam here. I'm here with my talking cat, Kara. Say hi, Kara. Say hi, boy. Oh. You were talking the other day, were you? You was in a talking mood the other day. Um, today, I'm going to go see the interview. This is Christmas, by the way. This is December 25th, 2014. Um, at about, it's like 6.14 p.m. Even though the news thinks it's 6.17. The news thinks it's 6.17. I'm going to the theaters today, tonight, at 9.30 to go see the interview with Seth Rogen and James Frisco. Yes, the movie that Sony banned to play on, to release because of Kim Jong-un being a fucking pussy. So, so yes, I'm going to film that. Not the movie, but I'm going to film us going there. And I want to show you guys that it's not closed on every theater. Weatherford, Oklahoma is one of the places, one of the luckiest places It's going to get to play. And so to Kim Jong-un, fuck you, motherfucker. This is America. We have freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom of anything we want to do. And you can't do nothing about it, fucker. Okay? So that's it. So, I went to the theaters last night and watched uh, the interview with Seth Rogen and James Fransco. It was, it was a funny movie, yeah. I can understand why, why Kim Jong-un doesn't want the movie to be played. However, if Kim Jong-un did not want the movie to be played, why did he allow his image to, be, to portray in such a movie? Okay, but this is not about the interview. What I want to talk about is something I find completely out of disrespect. And that is, of course, when I walked out the movie theater, the, 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 the doors that were, the room that were playing the movie, uh, I walked into that little front foyer area, and they were giving out free posters. And I saw one, and I find it kind of disturbing. I had to do some research. <laughs> I like Annie. Okay, don't get me wrong. Annie is a good movie. In fact, shit. Um, right here. I have. Wait, that's the animal. Hang on. This movie bag. In. In. Right here. This is Annie. See that? Red hair. Uh, gingered, freckles, orphan, okay, orphan, orphan, not foster, orphan, little orphan Annie, not little foster Annie, oh, uh, red hair, black hair, they could at least put a red wig on that bitch, come on, someone told me that's Willow Smith, that don't even look like a Willow Smith. In fact, Willow is a bit older, I think. Um, let's see. Um, Broadway hit. I don't know yet because I haven't seen it, but I'm bet I'm sure it's going to be trash. Okay? Because I heard these music notes, okay? There's like, on, um, I watched the Thanksgiving Parade Festival, and they had her singing It's a Hard Not Life. Let me tell you something. You know what I found disturbing? 
is when they use the phrase in the song, this version here, which is, no one cares about you a smidge when you're in an orphanage. On this one, they said, no one cares about you a smidge when you're a foster kid. Okay? They can't change the words, can't change the looks. They can't say, little foster Annie, it's little orphan Annie. That's how it's been since she started. That's how it's been for years. And that's how it should stay. Hollywood, quit fucking shit up! The hell's wrong with you? You, uh... Oh, here, here, here's a joke. Here's a joke. They're giving away one free poster. A poster that you could put on your wall and enjoy. However, on the back of it is an activity fuck. For the little kids to scream it on and poke a hole. And then when you got this on the wall, you got a hole poking out of little orphan Annie's eye. Because someone decided to type, how can you build a brighter tomorrow in your community? And we're going to go. Bit, bit, bit. Fucking stupid. Come on. You know? So they, they won't gonna give out two free posters. One. One free poster. Ah, see, you know what I did? I acted like I took one free poster. When in fact, <laughs> I, I, I took two. I just like grabbed one. Well, I made it assume like I grabbed one. But I grabbed two. That's how stupid people are. That's how the, the stupid the theaters are. That's how stupid Hollywood industry is. Because they can't leave shit alone. It's like with Batman. Come on, people. Okay. What the fuck is up with the Dark Knight? Really? It's Batman. Okay? He's not the Dark Knight. He hasn't been dark. Not since the beginning. Because, okay, he wasn't in no dark suit. He wore a gray and purple outfit. Come on. Okay, this is Batman. Okay, I kind of like Michael Keaton, okay? But the newer, darker versions of Batman, okay, they're calling him the Dark Knight, I think it's pathetic, okay? It's like Superman. Oh my fucking God, okay? Look, the real Superman, Kirk Allen, okay? Nah, he couldn't fly. But George Reeves, he kind of flew. They just have him stuck on a little gurney like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Christopher Reeve, motherfucker flew, man. He, he, he used his arms. He worked that shit, right? And don't get me wrong. I like the other Supermans. I like, I like the Chris, uh, no, yeah, the, uh, what is it? Dean Kane. I like the Dean Kane. Superman? I don't know why. I was I was about to say Chris Gaines. I don't know why. But I like the Dean Cain Superman. I like uh, Tom Willings, Clark Kent. Okay? I like, you know, I like all those Supermans, okay? But this one, the Man of Steel, okay? That's like calling Batman, you know, the Dark Knight in the movies, okay? No, stop it! Quit making them darker. Quit making them stupider. Okay? I watched The Man of Steel. It's like a, a reimagination. Kind of like watching the remake of Planet of the Apes. It's stupid. Okay? Granted, there's good effects and good story, but you can't... Don't fuck with the originals. You know, instead of recreating... You know, from scratch, the stories... How about... Continuing... Okay? Like, oh no, Superman Returns is halfway decent. Okay? Because the guy that played uh, Clark in Superman, he almost looked like Christopher Reeve. He had the same smirky grin and the, uh, you know, posture or whatever. But um, the thing that I didn't like about it is that they had, you know, the Lois there is not really quite, uh, you know, lois -y. You know what I'm saying? And another thing I was disappointed about the Man of Steel is that there was no Jimmy Olsen. There was a Jamie Olsen, and I'm like, who the fuck is Jamie? I mean, who the fuck? We're fucking things up, okay? You got you got Lois, Clark, the Chief, and Jimmy in the newsroom since since the Adventures of Superman. 
since the comics, since it all started, you can't fucking change it. Okay? I mean... It's like... They keep fucking things up. Number one... Evidence. It's called, um... Yeah, evidence number one, I guess, okay? The Brady Bunch. The movies. The remakes. They didn't, like, create a movie of the Brady Bunch. They mocked the entire fucking family in the 90s surrounding them. You know? Leave shit alone. I gotta go.